those of you who have been following this channel know that I love speed, I love acceleration, I love racing, I've been racing cars, motorcycles, and I just fell into another money pit, oh my gosh. Yep, another money pit, and this is RC car. Look at this bad boy right here. This is an Omni Terminator by Rarlo, and it's already seen a couple upgrades so far, but it all started when I bought an RC car to my son, thinking it would be nice for him, but I also fell in love with it, and, and since we've been enjoying RC cars together, so I bought myself one for me, and I just got hooked, and these things are so powerful, so fast, and so fun. It's just uh, super cool, especially with my son. It's just amazing to have something that we can share together. But they break when you do something stupid and they are meant to do stupid things. Go fast, hit something, so they break, of course. Um, and we have a 3D printer, we have CAD software. My thinking was I've already beaten this guy a bit hard and there's a beautiful aluminum bottom plate here with laser etching and it looks good. I mean, it was looking good brand new. It still looked good, but I don't want to damage it more than it is. So I was thinking, let's design some skid plates to, um, to protect that guy and see if that, yeah, that can protect it and avoid having to scratch it more than it is right now. So first thing first, let's take some pictures of the bottom plate take some measurement, jump it to CAD, print, test fit, and see what we can do with it. Let's go. That thing is done. It was not easy to model that bottom plate. Lots of measurement. All those holes are not symmetrical. So that was not easy, but yeah, done it. It looks good. I like it. Um, however, I'd like to kind of work on a more protective version, like full body plate protection, except I don't want to block that bottom plate here that there's a nice logo here there's a skull there's the omni terminator logo i'd like to keep that because i think it looks cool so um i'll work on something that will cover it up and see if that works but uh, i want to offer both version to people so that way they can choose i'll do this for free so enjoy that i know there's a lot of people having this little basher because it's a nice one affordable nice one so let's work on the more protective and offer both versions to people all right, this is what I came up with. Let me show you, that's the little sketch I created. Um, uh, let me remove the canvas. So as you can see, I have designed the skull and, and the rest. So we're just gonna extrude it and see what that looks like. So that's about it. And we added a couple fillets and whatnot to make it look good. And this is back on it with the skull that we can see the logos there. I like it a lot. Um, let's print it and see if it's gonna fit right away. I have high doubt, I normally, well, normally it's pretty good if the measurement were good, but with this kind of back plate here, it's, uh, I don't know, we might need some adjustments. So let's print, test fit, maybe we're lucky, maybe it's gonna fit right on the first time. So let's do that.
print done. Let's see now if it's going to fit. But this color looks pretty good. Let's see now on the car. Okay, is it going to fit? That is the question. Let's see if the cat design is okay and if it aligns with all the boats. It looks, it looks right on. <laughs> wow, I think that's going to fit. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the boats are all aligning. What about this guy in the back? All right, this one seems like a direct fit as well. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to remove the bolt, install that, but I want to show you something. This is the color of the aluminum part. If I put it right beside, you see it's not a very good match, though it's pretty close. Let me zoom in a bit, but it's not perfect. So this green looks more like uh, greenish or I don't know. It's not, this looks more like olive green to me. So I found another filament here from um, Overture and it looks like it's a perfect match. I mean, not perfect, but a lot closer than the little green there. So I'm going to reprint the parts in this and I think PL is going to be fine for this application. Worst case scenario, we have 3D printer. This prints super fast and we can always reprint it. I'm thinking about ABS for uh, more uh, impact resistance than PLA. So I've ordered also ABS, but for now PLA is going to do it. So let's see if the bolts will line up. Everything fits, everything looks good. I like it. It's perfect. Perfect fit. I'm very happy with that. I'm back from a little bashing session with my son. I didn't take uh, out this part yet. I kept this is the, the, the least color match color. I kept it and went and just to see if it took the beating. It took the beating. As you can see, it's all scratched up. Um, very happy with that. Those, all those marks would have been on the aluminum frame. It's a little too late <laughs> now because uh, I didn't have protection before, but at least it's not going to get worse as it is. So the part held on pretty good. A lot of crashes, it held on. So that's good. Um, while I was out, I've also received those new wheels. That's going to be epic wheels. They are more like uh, road wheels more slick tires or racing wheels but they are 17 millimeter hex so that's going to be able about the same size as the stock one um, but it's going to look good with the aluminum parts and this is going to be the center that's going to look like that i really like the look that's going to look sporty i've also got also another set of wheel a little bigger but also 17 millimeter it's going to also look pretty good with the center aluminum with the Rarlo uh, logo. So that's going to go on. Um, we'll see how that looks. These are a little bigger. Well, 122 mil versus 105. Uh, I might have to change the differential gearing for that, but might try with the stock gearing and see what that does. I don't know. We'll see. But those new wheels, I like them. They look epic. <laughs> That was a very fun little project to make. The look is pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, it offers the protection I wanted. So for those of you guys owning a Omni Terminator like this little basher, 
I'll put a link down in the description. I'll give the design for free. I'll put the files there. So feel free to print them. If you don't have a printer, if you don't own a printer, you want something that print fast for those parts, look also in the description. VZBot printers like those two. They're meant to be printing fast, so those parts are really easy to print. Um, also, I'm gonna keep designing parts for this little guy. I think I need more protection, especially on the body. Uh, maybe other stuff, so stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And on this, happy bashing, happy printing, and see you soon on the next one. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.